once again with another episode of the legal submission and this time we are going to give you an update on the paradigm sports management versus manny pacquiao lawsuits that's going down in orange county california's superior court but before we begin just to remind you to like subscribe the youtube channel visit mmapayout.com visit visit the Substack. Uh, and all other forms on MMA Payout or my own Twitter account, Dilaton. So what's going on with the Manny Pacquiao par uh, Paradigm Sports Management lawsuit? Well, the trial actually has, has started. They are in recess until May. But what has transpired during the, the trial is a motion for non-suit filed by Manny Pacquiao's lawyers uh, which would effectively uh, make the case null and void, dismiss the case uh, uh, on behalf of the defendants here, Manny Pacquiao, and eventually, uh, essentially stating that there is no, no case uh, actually before the court and dismissing the case in its entirety. So why is Manny Pacquiao's side uh, going ahead with this motion uh, after the trial hap started. So the trial did start April 7th, 2023. Let me back up on that. Now there is a couple weeks here be before uh, they go back to court um, in May. Uh, well, it is May, but go, to, go back to court, I believe, is next week. So what they believe, many Pacquiao's laws, uh, uh, lawyers uh, suggest, is that the agreement that they are the sides are fighting over between uh, Paradigm Sports Management and Manny Pacquiao is the argument that the agreement is void because Audio Tour, uh, the president or the head of Paradigm Sports Management, did not have a valid manager's license pursuant to the laws of California. Now this this uh, is surprising to me because a Paradigm Sports Management is based out of California, Orange County, California, hence the lawsuit filed in Orange County, California Superior Court. And it has come out in trial testimony that Atar was not, uh, was not uh, a licensed manager under the rules of uh, the California State Commission. Now, the commission requires for boxing managers to register with the state. Uh, it's a simple, pro well, it's a, it's a process that you file it with the state, you pay a fee, and then you're licensed. Um, there's other s sort of uh, jumps you got to go through, but it's not like taking the, a bar uh, a bar exam like lawyers do where there's a, a huge test and you have to wait a long time. You actually just pay X amount of dollars to become uh, a manager. And the fact that Paradigm Sports Management, which manages MMA stars, obviously in this case they were trying to uh, manage Manny Pacquiao, they manage NFL players, in the NFL, you have to be certified as an agent or else you are not allowed to represent any players at all. In, uh, in the state of California, it is required that you have to have a, a license to uh, manage uh, boxers in the state. Now, the argument that we uh, will get to on behalf of Paradigm Sports is that it's a novel case because Pacquiao was not in the state of California when he signed it, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, if we go back a little bit in the history of, uh, of uh, California State uh, Commission representation, you might recall a case involving Ronda Rousey and her longtime management manager Darren Harvey, in which Harvey had sued Rousey for unpaid commissions or payments because he was her manager. And Rousey uh, successfully argued, and the commission, uh, I believe, ruled in, in her favor at the administrative level, that Harvey did not 
uh, was one, uh, n not utilizing the correct forms that are required by the state of California. Uh, now, obviously, there was a, another civil case involving Harvey and Rousey, which, were, that, which is not at issue here. The issue is the fact that uh, California requires a strict adherence, it, it appears, to the rules of representing uh, MMA, combat sports, boxing athletes. So the, the crux of Pacquiao's lawsuit uh, excuse me, the crux of Pacquiao's motion is that the entire agreement that they are fighting over is void. And that's uh, according to Pacquiao's lawyers, it's void because neither plaintiff nor its single managing member, Audi Ator, which is also interesting because the LLC is just uh, Audi, uh, possessed a valid manager's license with the state of California. The agreement was not printed uh, on a printed form approved by the California State Athletic Commission. This is, re goes back to the Harvey case where uh, a similar thing happened. Third, pointed out by Pacquiao's attorneys, the agreement was not executed before the commission or a commission representative and it did not receive the written approval by the commission. So there's another thing. It, even though we, you might want to argue contract law, it was not the proper forms uh, that the commission requires. And then lastly, the agreement exceeds a period of five years. So that goes into a little more of the uh, laws specific to California as to how long that a manager can manage a boxing athlete. We've seen uh, in uh, previous boxing uh, uh, cases before the California State Athletic Commission, the tolling periods between how long a manager can effectively manage a, a boxer and, and many times um, uh, boxers are able to relieve themselves of the managerial series services because uh, the time in the contract is, is longer than uh, exceeds the, the commission re required amount. So uh, what is the what is the uh, opposition? What is Paradigm uh, stating is the, the cause of this? What, how are they rebutting the arguments by Pacquiao to just dismiss the lawsuit uh, outright uh, on and in favor of Pacquiao? So basically a judgment uh, by the court telling, uh, it's effectively stating that Pacquiao won the case. So they state that the partnership agreements are not under California law. That's what Paradigm argues. They say the issue in this case is, uh, this is from their opposition brief. The issue in this case is not whether par the party's agreement complied with the provisions governing contracts between fighters and licensed boxing managers contained in California Business and Professions Code or the Co California Court of Regulations because the partnership agreements were not on the form approved by the California State Athletic Commission and the parties did not execute them in front of the commission. The partnership agreements would be void if they fell within the commission's jurisdiction. But the issue here is one of first impression, and it's whether those regula regulations can be imposed on anyone other than California rec residents who execute management contracts in California. This issue has never been addressed by any court, state or federal. Now, based on my 20, over 20 years of legal experience, and this is my opinion only for just a uh, discussion amongst ourselves. It is never a good look when you tell a court this case is a first impression. Now it might be, it might be a case of first impression and we're dealing with something very, very, uh, uh, very out of the box, an outlier, if you will, of a legal case, but Many times when this is the argument, the go-to argument, it's the first, it's a, it's the first argument in their pleading, the top argument, it is not very successful. Now, I, it, that does not say, now this does not say, this is only discussion again, I'm not, I'm not giving you, don't go to the, go to the courthouse for this, but 
it does not uh, it is not a good look when you say to a court it's a one of first impression it's simply because law the, the cases uh, surrounding these issues uh, have been litigated to certain extents and we are parsing out uh, a, a, a minute issue uh, regarding this agreement between Pacquiao and Paradigm, Paradigm stating that can uh, regulations be imposed on anyone other than California residents? Well, the question is here, isn't Paradigm located in California? Didn't they bring the lawsuit in California to effectively, uh, effectively establish the jurisdiction? I mean, that's where they are. That's why they, they're not, they didn't bring the lawsuit anywhere else. They didn't bring it in New York. They didn't bring it in Nevada. They didn't bring it anywhere else. That would be my argument. Now, uh, do they hold weight with the cases that they cite? I mean, we won't. We'll, we may go back, go into the cases uh, in another legal submission. But do they hold weight? Sure, they do. But if you are the court and you see the evidence that Adiator was not a boxing manager, and this is effectively was for a boxing contract or bo for, for boxing events. And they are a company in California. It turns out they're not licensed, and it turns out that they are not. Uh, <coughs> they didn't have a license, uh, and they didn't use the commissioned approved forms. There are some issues that the, they're dealing with. Now, what now? What will happen next? Well, the court will go back into session, I believe, next week, if not sooner. And we will hear most likely about the disposition of this motion from uh, Manny Pacquiao's side. Will it, call, will it be an appeal if the judge rules in favor of Pacquiao? Yes, most likely. Uh, is this a case in which uh, it is a slippery slope where, you know, it, it, while the, the, the party is in California and they're, utilize, and they're signing a, an agreement with Pacquiao, who is not a California citizen, in fact, he's not a, a resident of uh, the United States. Does it have? Do you have jurisdiction over that individual? And do you 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 need to utilize the tools the commission requires? If you take the argument of paradigm sports management here, you are saying that California commission does not apply to Pacquiao. What if you were to hold an event in LA? Well, Pacquiao would have to apply to a, for a license to box in California, right? Does he avail himself at that point, or is he, or, or are we saying here that he is n at all times not a uh, individual that would be subject to the California regulations unless he? Uh, submitted a boxing license? These are interesting questions and we'll probably follow this a little more uh, with another follow-up legal submission in the near future. In the meantime, go ahead and follow, uh, follow me on YouTube, MMAPayout.com. Uh, join, uh, join the Substack. It's free and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon.